So we have defined Fermi level as the energy level where the probability of finding an electron is 0.5. Now let's consider this Fermi Dirac distribution function at t equal to 0 Kelvin. At t equal to 0 Kelvin, f of e equal to 1 by 1 plus e power, we have e minus e f by, so we, since we are considering at 0 Kelvin, we have e minus e f by 0. Now the value of this function now depends on the value. Now the value of this function f of e depends on the relative magnitudes of e and e f. Let's say we are looking for probability at energy levels which are above Fermi level. We are looking for the probability of electrons at energy levels higher than Fermi level. So if e is greater than e f, we can say e minus e f will be positive. Then this f of e can be written as 1 by 1 plus e power plus infinity. So its value will be e power infinity will be infinity. Infinity plus 1 is infinity and 1 by infinity is 0. Let's consider energy levels which are below Fermi level. If e is less than e f, we can say e minus e f is negative. Now f of e will be equal to 1 by 1 plus e power minus infinity. So e power minus infinity is 1 by e power infinity that is 1 by infinity and we can say its value is 0 that is 1 by 1 plus 0 that is 1. So for e greater than e f we have found that at 0 Kelvin the probability of finding an electron is 0 that means above e f there are no possibility of finding an electron. So above e f at 0 Kelvin there is no probability of finding electron. Now for energy levels less than e f the probability is 1. That means we can definitely say that there is an electron occupying that energy level. So below e f we can say 100% probability or we can definitely say that we can find an electron at energy levels below e f. So what we have concluded so far is at 0 Kelvin for energy levels above Fermi level there is no probability of finding an electron and those energy levels below Fermi level there is 100% probability of finding an electron. Now if we recall the band structure we have seen that valence band and conduction band were separated by energy gap and we have said that in the case of silicon at t equal to 0 Kelvin the valence band is completely filled with electrons and the conduction band is completely empty. So valence band is full and conduction band is empty. We can see that same result here. It's saying that above Fermi level at 0 Kelvin there is no probability of finding electron and below Fermi level there is 100% probability of finding electron. So in the case of silicon we can say that the Fermi level should lie somewhere in the energy gap. So the Fermi level will be somewhere in the energy gap. Now this Fermi level EF almost at the middle of this energy gap. So Fermi level EF lies almost in the middle of energy gap. We will discuss about that slight offset in a later video. Now let's plot the Fermi Dirac distribution function for t equal to 0 Kelvin and let's see what happens as temperature increases.